What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Who says Princess and can't compete against the meta? Well, other than everybody, but maybe this duel will actually change your mind because the odds are definitely going to be stacked against the deck and it might just come out smelling like roses, mainly thanks to this card right here, the uh, Golden Castle of Stromberg. And you can see, obviously, he is going to get that card on the field because my man got two copies of uh, Terraforming and obviously he has this Stromberg. This is an annoying-ass card, especially if you're playing an archetype that doesn't have a lot of spell and trap removal granted this card does basically like deplete your entire deck pretty damn quickly it's like you're activating a desires every single turn but outside of that it is a, a whole lot of protection in this card so let's see exactly what type of odds he's going to be staring down playing against mermil a deck that i always have respect for especially if it goes first because mermil do have the ability to extra link they can gumblar you they can run light of seca as well that can just be additional cards and mermil has have always just had the ability to special summon monsters from their hand at the cost of other monsters doesn't matter if it happens to be you know using swap frog or one of the mermail monsters so when they draw additional cards don't think that they can't put those cards on the field and you see he is going to make galaxy tomahawk he has his two level sevens on the field that translates into you know a rank uh, a rank seven xc and master rule four has the first nightmare phoenix and at this point you know firewall dragon is coming and uh, he's probably going to extra link his opponent should be losing probably a bunch of cards in his hand because I think that it's really only a matter of time before he gets to Gumblar. You can see right there the extra link is confirmed. He's just trying to, at this point, make it a little better. Probably turn Proxy Dragon into Gumblar, which, you know, he has the orchestrated Nightmare coming out and then he goes back into the Phoenix. He's just looking for another monster to, you know, well, I think he just used Firewall Dragon to recover almost his entire hand. Boom Shakalaka. There is the Gumblar Dragon. Get those cards out of his opponent's hand. And this the cool thing right he actually didn't have to discard anything from his hand because gumblar was the last part of an extra link so he just takes two cards out of his opponent's hand but you know as i said before and, and this is terrible <laughs> he drew another copy of the carriage when he already had one so this hand is looking all types of jank but it's fine because he does have you know he has his golden castle and i love this play man i love it he just gets cinderella he's like attack directly cinderella you go get him cinderella cinderella coming in with that big 300 damage and she takes a thousand attack from gumblar dragon take that i mean if you have gumblar dragon and you're getting attacked by cinderella like obviously you messed up at some point let's see what he's going to do to fight back it's still really not looking good for princessin because he does only have two monsters on the field and his opponent can attack so it's not like he can't stop the i mean it's not like he can't you know uh just get rid of these monsters the golden castle is going to activate but uh his monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects the ones that are linked which is unfortunate however he is taking a bunch of damage now at this point he realizes ah oh, shit this uh, this stupid castle is actually annoying i better go ahead and get rid of this thing cap g this thing is getting on my nerves and he's like all right i'm just gonna get rid of it no problem no harm no foul draws a card for his troubles as well and gets himself just another monster reborn and even after that he's like cap it's not an issue i got rid of the field spell and i re-established the extra link it's gg no re come on man i'm not gonna lose to a freaking princess in deck but you guys see he has another copy of terraforming which he had in his opening hand re-establishes the stromborg and now he's saying look i'm going on the aggressive let's get rid of the link karibo let's get rid of the nightmare cerberus and then welcome to 101 town takes firewall dragon again get rid of those shenanigans and he is back on top princess and meta confirmed he is going to use gumblar just to get rid of that card out of his opponent's hand but he can't attack because there is the castle of stromberg now the thing is he does have to watch out because he might end up decking out but now he has the hextrude on field he's popping cards he's getting multiple attacks off and look how this duel has completely changed my man has broken the extra link he has broken mermil spirit and it is all thanks to little old cat golden castle of stromberg this card actually is amazing i I wish um i wish salaman greats had that effect in, in their deck for the uh for the freaking salaman great sanctuary at this point he realizes that he can just get rid of what's it called all his opponent's monsters now i think his opponent maybe there's only chance would have been i'm gonna try to deck you out because he only has like six cards left in his deck however hex true can just blow up the golden castle at this point he doesn't really like he doesn't need the golden castle anymore so i don't think that there's any point his opponent only has two cards in hand and although he can summon them and he can activate the uh you know effects of like abyssius where exactly is he going from here mermil and most of these decks that do extra link turn one they use almost their entire 
entire extra deck turn one so he has two cards left what are you doing there <laughs> i mean are you just gonna go for like miss star boy pass or something like that that's not gonna be able to beat double hex true plus a 101 that's looking pretty damn big on the field so you guys just learned something new today uh everybody's complaining about topologic gumblar dragon saying it needs to get banned nope that's not the answer the answer is not banning the card the answer is just play princess and kappa anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed that short though you know let's just go ahead and show the deck because there'll be that one guy out there who's like cap show the damn princess and deck all right so this is what the deck looks like on paper first thing that i noticed was something that i really liked and that was the fact he's running necro face i personally believe that princessin is almost identical to something like spiral phantasm if you don't have uh golden castle stromberg on the field i feel like you have no chance of winning with this deck it is a field spell or bust deck which is obviously why you do have to run as many copies of terraforming as the ban list will allow you so um i feel like the uh, necro face is a good way of extending your golden castle just making it have extra turns because all of the cards that get banished face down hypothetically you just want to uh normal summon your necro face even if you just have 10 cards i feel like that's fine because you can i mean you can still just uh you know power up your necro face a little bit and it buys you an extra turn of golden castle and we saw what that did not just that but then golden castle allows you to you know summon a monster straight from your deck and maybe you got unlucky maybe you banished three copies of like hex truth or something like that so you never really know well yeah, i guess you do because you can just look at your cards face down but i do feel like necro face is something that can be uh you know beneficial plus if it's like the really really late game you only have like a few cards left in your deck you never know like necro face can kind of just be one of those cheese cards that ends up having like a billion attack at that point and then just kind of you know wrecking your opponents i wonder if eater of millions could even be ran in this deck i mean it's not like princess and really use their extra deck all that much i mean why not just fucking banish like uh 15 cards i guess at that point maybe you're going too far into like the grim Machu territory um he does play some he did play some hand traps in the uh in the deck he just didn't uh, you know hit any of the cards i feel like impermanence is just like a staple i feel like you have to run this card and like literally every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, unless you cannot win except when you go first i feel like impermanence is just that good of a card but really the only cards you need to know about in this deck is just golden castle and then i guess by association like terraforming these are the main cards hextrude big beater uh boss monster also pops cards gives you multiple attacks and you know it's an interesting little deck i feel like konami should have maybe given much more powers to the monsters in this deck because i mean hextrude is really powerful but some of the other cards i think this is the one that has the built-in mst if i'm not mistaken yeah, this is the built-in mst bird but i feel like some of the other monsters in princess should have been more powerful um i guess they, they couldn't have extra deck cards right because their their levels are kind of all over. i mean i guess they could have made like a rank four and like a rank three maybe but not nah, just a rank four i guess their levels are all over the place which means i don't know i mean is konami gonna give a dm deck that was only in the anime like uh, a link monster although they, they did it for ninjas so who knows anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the short duels if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos and check out these other videos i know you'll enjoy